all right what's up guys how's it going welcome back to the channel and uh yeah so we have here the silver toes huh let me so i have my my lights on in my room and i feel like it's not really looking right let's 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 do a little bit of this action let's see let's see let's see a little bit better oh yeah we got a little little daylight look wow that changed the video up. All right, so uh, here are the silver toes. And wow, these things look amazing. Now, I've had the silver toes for, I wanna say about six days now. And quite honestly, I am a huge fan uh, for the sake of full transparency. Uh, I did not think I was gonna like these as much as I do. Um, I did go ahead and uh, wear them like every day, threw some extra fits in there as well. Um, as you guys seem to have enjoyed the last video that was similar to this one. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, what I wore uh, each day with these silver toes. All right, so starting out with fit number one, we have here the old reliables for the bottoms, the Snap Zipper 2, Cargos, and it's been no secret. I am a huge fan of these cargos because they are so versatile. Uh, this is a pair of pants I can just literally say I don't really feel like thinking right now. And they'll go with just about anything. They go with the Fog Ones. I've worn them with the Easy Quantums in the past. Uh, just really, really a jack of all trades for pants. Uh, very comfortable as well. Uh, moving on up, we have a vintage t-shirt that is flipped inside out. Over that, as it did get a little bit cooler, I did end up wearing uh, the Essentials uh, Knit Hoodie, which I'm just a huge fan of. Very thick, very warm, very good quality. All right, so now moving on to fit numero dos, we have here a pretty simple fit, uh, if I'm quite honest. Uh, I've got on a pair of Carpenter pants. They're Carhartt, vintage, that's distressing, paint splatters, need I say more, an amazing pair of pants. They are on the baggier side. But that's why we love the Jordan 1. You can wear them with skinnies, stack, or baggy cover. Still looks good, still trendy. And uh, I just went for a more relaxed look this day as up top, everybody's favorite, a blank white t-shirt, or at least my favorite blank white t-shirt. Uh, we have the Uniqlo U t-shirt. Moving on to lucky fit number three. We have here probably my most random outfit of the bunch as you guys don't really get to see the side of when i dress this way but uh, this is actually an outfit that i did end up wearing to meet up with my mom um i kind of like to dress a little bit more posh as uh that's how she dresses and we generally go out to nice places and stuff like that so um yeah i had lunch with my mom and for this outfit it's actually not an expensive outfit so don't uh take that word posh by meaning expensive it's just a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more formal. Um, I've got on a pair of Dickies, a pair of Dickies, uh, just standard original fit, I think they're 874s. With that, I've got trusty old Uniqlo U t-shirt just tucked in. And over that, I'm wearing the Represent jacket. I'm gonna try and figure out uh, what season it's from, but I wanna say it's from a couple seasons ago. Um, I love this jacket, it is cropped, slightly oversized, boxy, uh, just how we like it. And uh, yeah, this one is, again, a little bit unorthodox for the channel. It's a side of me that you guys don't really see as much, uh, but that's one thing that you guys will come to notice. People kind of give me a hard time for not always dressing to a particular niche all the time, like, you know, strictly Jerry Boy or so on. Uh, but that's one thing that I will say unapologetically. Some days I feel like a Jerry Boy. Some days I feel like, some days I feel like, yay. Some days I feel like, I don't know, dressing preppy. I, I really do like to dress according to how I feel that day. So now we're at outfit number four. And for this one, I've got on the V Denim by Minimal. If you guys don't know, this is their newest addition to the denim lineup. Moving on up, we have yet again another vintage t-shirt uh, that is flipped inside out. And over that uh, is this distressed cardigan by Minimal. Now, moving on to one of my favorite numbers, number five, as it does represent the number of grace in biblical numerology. Uh, we have here 
Uh, just a simple fit again, got a vintage tee. It is Harley, paint splatters galore, uh, distressings throughout. A really, really sick shirt and the fade is just, mwah, it's beautiful. Look the fit too, it's mwah, beautiful. Love this t-shirt. I uh, got some accessories on there, moving on down. Flare cargos, so sexy. I think these are gonna do so, these are just gonna really pop off. These are constant go-to for me, uh, just this whole look. Uh, this specific pair is actually from Ain't Easy and he's been doing good stuff for a long time. I think he's got a new capsule coming out too, so be sure to stay locked on that. Now we are on to day six, or the last outfit of today's video. This one features another pair of baggy cargos, but this time around, uh, it is from our friends over at Uniform Studios. Uh, moving on up, a uh, vintage t-shirt. Uh, actually, no, take it back. It's not a vintage t-shirt. It is a bare knuckles t-shirt uh, that I'm actually wearing right now. And um, over that, I've got on a flannel, flannels that called again I will have to let me double check all right so the flannels actually from Oro Los Angeles so uh, a lot of you guys asked me where I got that flannel actually so this is this is actually good I'll have a link in the description if I can find it if it's still available all right and so that is gonna do it for today's video let me know in the comment section below how you think I did if you like any of these fits are they whack? Definitely open to uh, hearing what you guys have to say down below. Anyways, with that said, let me know that you guys are enjoying this style of video of kind of putting outfits together around certain shoes um, by liking this video and commenting that you want to see more. If you guys have any suggestions for shoes that you want me to kind of style around, I got a whole wall back here. Definitely let me know as well. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Definitely appreciate you guys coming back through. Honestly, it is insanely humbling. I know I say that uh, time and time again, but truthfully, it uh, it blows my mind that you guys come back around. And um, I sincerely mean it uh, from the bottom of my heart when I say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, with all that being said, as an end of a video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.